Foster here, and I wanted to make a bit of a different video series than the ones I've been doing. Yes, shocker, this isn't a traveler video, but I wanted to step back and really take a big, long look at the past, more so than theorize on the future. So today, I want to open a new series called A Deeper Dive into the Genshin Characters, where I'll be taking a more critical analysis of the character's portrayal and potential future as the story goes on. And today, what better to respect than the man, the myth, the ginger menace himself, Tartalia. Or more so, his redemption. Tartalia's status as a morally great character is my favorite aspect of his character because of its sheer complexity. Some characters are just meant to be filler or casual read-ins that attribute a particular archetype. But Tartalia's role as both a Fatui harbinger and an older brother figure has really made him an outlier compared to majority of the cast. His character constantly dances on a paradox, that simple balance of mortal ingenuity that makes him so difficult to read even from an outsider perspective. The travelers themselves have inconsistencies with how they treat Tartalia, which is justified given his very unpredictable nature. And this is why the topic of his redemption is one of the most important points to discuss, just because of how complex it can really be, and why I believe Tartalia can't be redeemed. So. Let's start with some background on this discourse. Tartalia's unique position comes from the fact that he was a primary antagonist in the Liyue Arkan quest, but still became a relatively jovial and amicable ally of the Traveler through the playability aspect of his character. Furthermore, interactions in 2.2 and 3.2 hint that the Traveler is wary, but nevertheless willing to become a temporary ally of Tartalia if the situation calls for it. Tartalia, outside of his works as a harbinger, hasn't particularly shown active distaste or hostility towards the Traveler in the same way that little shitstain McGee has, and acts more so like a bullying but funny older brother figure than an actual formal diplomat or a formal dipshit. His story quest helped cement that aspect of him as being more than just a terrorist. However, the reason I say that Tartalia can't be redeemed is because he himself, as a character, never asked for redemption. Let's break this down. A lot of people compare A with Tartalia because they are both playable antagonists of their respective Archon quests, but there is a key difference between their portrayals that we need to understand to fully grasp their characterizations. That difference being is the resolution of their respective character arcs. A had an active character development through her story quests. The purpose of 2.5 was for her to abolish the Sakoku decree and to realize the error of her ways during the Archon quests. She had a massive change in self-reflection that symbolized her atonement. She reconciled with Yamiko and even with herself to the Raiden Shogun boss battle. Her entire perception of the word eternity was altered after the events of the Archon quest. She understood the mistakes of actions and has made amends with the transgressions she has caused to the people of Inazuma, to the point of altering her own delusional preconceived notions of the word eternity. Now contrast this with Tartalia and we see a stark difference. Tartalia never asked for forgiveness. Tartalia, while he is an amicable and friendly character towards the Traveler during their next interactions, never had a character development that made him reflect on his status as a harbinger or as a potential accomplice to the death of a nation. His resolve towards pursuing power never changed, or his ideals towards the Fatui and the Saritsa were never challenged. Tartalia even admits through his playability that he is as power-hungry as the other Fatui harbingers. What makes him different is that he's upfront while they're schemers. His ideals as a warrior stop him from stooping to backstabbing or underhanded tactics, but he nevertheless understands that he pursues power more than anything else. Tartalia never asked for redemption because he doesn't see what he did in Liyue as a transgression. He is still a Fatui harbinger, and he is still in his hunt to be the most powerful in the world. Tartalia's redemption doesn't come, because there is no reflection, there is no forgiveness to be looked for. Tartalia was never meant to be that kind of character. He is unapologetically a warrior and a weapon. And nothing in his interactions even hint of a fact that he is willing to test his own ideals. But now, what about Tartalia's story quest? This one is something that I get seen thrown around as a sign of his redemption, of him becoming a better person, which, in my opinion, is a gross underestimation of his character. Tertallia's older brother's side shouldn't be used to erase his covetous and battle-hardened ideologies as a Fatui harbinger, but rather should be seen as simply an extension of Tertallia as a character. From a character writing point of view, there is a difference between development and discovery. Let's go back to A and Tartalia. 
One story quest is about us helping a character move on with their lives by developing a new aspect of themselves, and the other is a story about us discovering more about the character beyond our preconceived ideas. Do you see the difference? Tertalia's story quest is not character development from a narrative point of view, because there is no development on his end. It's not like he discovered the value of family or suddenly stopped pursuing his harbinger duties because of his siblings. No, rather, it is us seeing an already established side of Tertalia that we never got to see during the Archon quest. While to us, it's a development because this is our first time seeing it, to Tertalia, it's nothing new. Him wanting to provide the best for his family is already well established in the universe of Genshin. It's similar to knowing a friend's secret. It's not that they changed as a person, it's just that they showed us another aspect of themselves that they normally wouldn't show to others. In that same story quest, by the way, Tartali was unapologetic with his lust for power because his reasons for strength is his family. His family is an important motivator, and the world be damned if it means he gets to keep them safe. Which brings me to the last point. The Traveler's hesitance to trust Child is very much warranted. Tartalia is not redeemed in the eyes of the Traveler because Tartalia never asked for redemption. This is why the Traveler is still very much wary and very much hesitant to trust Tartalia as a character. Tartalia is unapologetically complacent with where he is at the moment as a harbinger who is also helping out his family, as a warrior that loves his siblings to death but is willing to purge the whole world into fire. The Traveler is wary of Tartalia because Tartalia is still very much in the power and mentality to commit atrocities against the other six nations. Sure, the Traveler empathizes with Tartalia from a familial standpoint, but because Tartalia showed no signs of reflecting on his actions during the Liyue Archon quest or even denouncing or belittling his status as a Fatui Harbinger, there is an air of uncertainty and distrust that the Traveler just can't afford to wave off. And besides, why give redemption to a character that definitely doesn't want it? He's just as prideful as the other Harbingers. He wants the potential to grow stronger. And most likely, the crimes during the Liyue Archon quest were nothing short of a failed mission. To use Ajax's status as an older brother to erase the crimes he's done to the people of Liyue is an unfortunate underestimation of his character. The beauty in Tartalia is his duality, and the fact that despite his amicable and friendly charismatic nature on the surface, his pride and ego as a harbinger have yet to cease. I'm not saying that Tartalia is a bad person by the way, it's just that Tartalia himself never wanted to be redeemed because nothing in his eyes needs redemption. Now, what happens in the future? What do I think will happen with Tartalia's status? Will he change sides? And in my opinion, there are two answers. First is that Tartalia has already shown interest in going against the Harbingers if the Traveler proves to be strong enough. The likelihood of Tartalia defecting is very, very high. But the reason I don't think this will be the case is because the Traveler will defect instead. At least in my opinion. If the Traveler is presented with enough motivation to join the Fatui, and if the Fatui find a necessary and practical reason to seek out the Traveler as an ally against a common enemy, say Celestia, the Traveler would have the reason to join the Fatui. Will they? Not sure. But given the status of everything and the fact that we might get playable Harbingers, this is a very big possibility. After all, we already have one current Harbinger and an ex-Fatui Harbinger as potential allies. The Tavat story trailer also hints that Fulcinella would be a playable character, but I do think overall that the Traveler and Tartalia will be allies in the future, given that their current disposition is friendly enough, and if you can tell me that Scaramouche will be a playable character and a friend to the Traveler, you can definitely convince me that Tartalia will be as well. And that's it for me today. What are your thoughts on Tertalia? And which characters do you want to do a deeper dive into next? I'm thinking of doing a deeper dive into the misconceptions of Kazuha's family and his logic as a wanderer, but that'll be saved for another time. Anyway, my name is Aster and thank you for chilling with me.